A lot of people ask me how to let go because I use letting go a lot when I'm talking about tinnitus. At the beginning, with me, I was very locked inside the tinnitus. So it was like it was a very big fish in a small world. I lived in my head and this huge experience seemed to dominate everything and I just couldn't get away from it. <clears throat> so the cranial work or any body work really opened up my experience so that I was connected with a much bigger part of me. So instead of being trapped inside my head with this horrible sound, I realized that I was in a much bigger space and I connected to the body and I could feel more of myself so that the experience of tinnitus was literally smaller relative to the big whole body experience. <clears throat> and then becoming aware of the body experience from therapy and psychotherapy and my Buddhist training or meditation training, I was able to become aware of people, my relationship with people and how I link and connect to others in a group. So that when you're sitting in a group of people meditating, you can experience the whole group as one unit and you're one part of that unit and so there's a much stronger resonant field of experience that's literally there in your awareness and in that situation if it's a coherent healthy clear calm group of people then the tinnitus is tiny compared to the larger collective experience so I think becoming aware of bigger and bigger areas of the body and of relationships definitely helps us let go of our stuff. We literally stop being trapped in tight little bubbles of experience and we can open out into much more complete and connected experiences until we can sit back and just watch the thinking, you can experience the body stuff and feel that in a still open space. It is possible to sense stillness, it's possible to feel that we are things or people or processes in that stillness and if you can open out into that kind of awareness then it's much easier to let go of our own individual personal stuff. So for me, letting go is about letting the awareness open up larger and larger fields of experience. I'm not talking about imagining this. These are not ideas. I'm talking about direct experience. So there's a sense of what's going on in the mind, what's going on in the body, and what's going on in the relational field, the interactions between people. We are all beings in relationship. This is something that I learnt really clearly from the Karuna Institute in Devon, where I did my psychotherapy training. All wounding happens in relationship, and therapy is a place to help heal the wounds and to find our own clear space and to find our sense of calm, stillness. And I think the deep place of letting go comes from directly sensing stillness or the unchanging sense of calm, still space that we're all sitting in. That's the true ground, that's the real resource, and all our temporary stuff in the mind and the body and in our relationships and our dramas and all the stuff we all get caught up in, <clears throat> it's just temporary <laughs> flotsam and difficulty and struggle. But if you can anchor into that deep resource of calm, still space, that can hold everything. So letting go means finding deeper and deeper levels of holding that you can let go into. So in my Buddhist training, 
there's a palpable sense of stillness, the unchanging stillness that is there, and all my local little stuff can let go into that. So it's like a, a process, it's like a journey. We see where we're stuck, we get aware of the tiny, tight little bubbles that we're all stuck in, and with a the therapist you start to see beyond those bubbles into greater fields of awareness so you can open up into larger spaces of stillness. It's letting go as a process of letting go into something, being becoming aware of something that's bigger and goes beyond the tight little bubbles that we get stuck in. And tinnitus at the beginning, we can feel very locked in and trapped with it because our energy and our focus is far too stuck onto it. It's far too close. So we actively need to practice body-based awareness to increase our awareness beyond tinnitus and to get into the relational aspects of being with a therapist or with a group of meditators or walking in nature or whatever it is that really resources us and then these small tight bubbles can burst and our awareness can open out into a much bigger stiller calmer space.